Welcome to the Yas Marina circuit for the finale of another thrilling Formula One season. It's been a breathtaking year and we end it at a track that's been the scene of many glories and heartbreaks over its history. It's time to end the season in style. It's time for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. We have 21 corners here at the Yas Marina circuit, 12 to the left and 9 to the right. It's a total lap distance of just over 3.4 miles. There are two long back straights opening up some passing opportunities into the braking zones. And we expect average lap speeds of around 123 miles an hour. It's race day yet again and joining me for a chat, Anthony Davidson. And our racers are certainly in for a rough day today. What will you be watching for as they go down into turn one? Well, the start of the race is always one of the most nerve wracking parts. You have to hope that everyone is able to get off to a clean start. And this is possibly the trickiest part of the entire race. So many drivers in such a small space and finding your breaking point into turn one as well. It's a testament to the driver's skill that there aren't more incidents. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Hamilton, Russell, Sebastian Vettel and Gasly. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Giovinazzi, Sainz, Moore and Esteban Ocon. They've taken a grid penalty. Ricardo, Schwartzman, Lance Stroll, and Latifi. Sonoda, Mazepin. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Mick Schumacher and Lando Norris. Leclerc and Nobuharu Matsushita. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. There's still a chance we can win this championship, so go out there and bring back the title.
it your best, but it just wasn't our day today. It's been an incredible season. We'll come back stronger next year. It's certainly been an incredible year for Formula One, and our drivers have all pushed themselves this season, making it one of the most compelling years of racing in history. There can only be one champion, however, and here they are now, our new Formula One World Drivers' Champion. Victory today then, but bittersweet emotions, I'm sure, as the championship slips through their fingers. Even so, what a fantastic final race of the season this was. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. Who was your driver of the day, Ant? Well, my driver of the day has to be Charles Leclerc. He was unstoppable out on the track today, weaving through the competition with ease. And it's another title in the bag for Red Bull. After a long and hard-fought season, they've built an astonishing car this year, and the glory they'll be taking back to Milton Keynes is fully deserved. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. You gained a lot of positions during the race, didn't you? How 
do you feel after your teammate's victory? Are you happy for them or do you wish it were you? Your teammate is up on the podium today. This is a great thing for the team, isn't it? Great. Well, that's everything. The door has opened. We can try and renegotiate for a better deal with our current team or approach someone else. Great. They're happy to enter into negotiations with us.